Hey, yo, what up, one of Streets? That's right, your boy, and check out with a new video. You already know we got a new video for y'all, right, man? Yes, sir. And it, let me just tell you, this is my favorite video we've ever made. So, this is a funny story. It started out, we were going to do things to do during COVID spring break, or whatever, Marty spring break. So, we had this one idea for one bit about the YouTuber Coyote Peterson. If you don't know, he's that guy that gets stung by the crazy things on purpose. And if so, we recorded that bit and we we're like, you know what, this is so funny. Let's just make this the whole video. And it was worth it. So, you won't understand this if you haven't seen any of his videos. Well, we'll actually link one of his videos in the description so you can go watch that real quick if you want a, prefer a reference of like what to compare this to. And if you have seen his video, his videos, you're in for a treat. David, anything else you would like to add? Like and subscribe. Hey look, it's Dad 1HP. Hey what? <laughs> they don't call it the American Baby Killer for nothing. Like, I, I don't know, man. I'm about to enter the bite zone with the American Baby Killer. Koala Pack, today, a very highly anticipated moment finally has arrived. Today, I'm getting stung by the American Baby Killer. The pain of the American Baby Killer sting has actually never been recorded. You will be watching history here today. Okay, so we're actually here with a survivor of the uh, American Baby Killer sting. And uh, I, well, we're gonna ask him a few questions. So the first question I'd like to ask you, sir, is, um. Like, how did you get stung? Like, what was the circumstances? Where did you get stung? So tell us how that all unfolded. I was five years old. And so I barely survived because my, um, I, I can't even, I barely survived. I just, I didn't fit in the category of still being a baby. Oh, really? So how, just, how old are you? You're five? Yeah, I oh, just lost my arm. That so that's like, kind of like the cutoff. Oh, you lost your arm. Didn't yeah. You? What's, what's, that? don't worry about it, don't, don't. Um, so, all right, so the next question I have for you is, um, would you say the sting is worse than its reputation or not as bad? You don't know the half of it. It's worse than its reputation. Oh, really? You hear, you hear about it outside of, of the village right here. It's, um, it's pretty bad. Explain how it felt. Searing pain. Full searing pain, 10 whole minutes of it. Exactly. Exactly. Well, exactly. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Yes. Um, some people are known to go past ten minutes. Uh, past? Okay. Ten minutes and two seconds. I don't know. Okay. But, um, so we're trying to get ten minutes and three seconds today, here, boys. We're trying to break the record. Ten minutes and three seconds of pain, because uh, we only get the, the best for the viewers. Um, I was literally begging for that for death. Oh. Get some ones. I, I was begging for it. Even though I was five years old, I... Oh, you... Whoa. That's... This is getting deep. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, I, I think we just have one more question. Yeah, I just... I've heard some stuff about hallucinations maybe happening. There was no hallucinations. But no. actually, I abducted some aliens that day. Um, I saw a tornado, oh, but wow. it wasn't a tornado. It wasn't? It was a tornado with sharks in it. So I decided to call it Sharknado. Wait, are you the guy who came up with the idea for the shark tornado movie? Yeah, uh, some people came in looking for me. They were like, oh, are you this guy? I was like, oh, yeah, that's me. I came up with the idea. So you're saying you got that idea after you got bit by an American baby killer. That is what... Well, well I don't remember. know if I'm excited or nervous. Well, uh, thank you for your time. That was definitely enlightening. Um, I would shake your hand. Well, oh, actually, there's one on you right now. Ah! So we actually found one. It was an American baby killer. It was actually hidden under a tree. Um, but the footage, uh, we lost it somehow. Something, the file got corrupted. But uh, we're gonna get, I'm going to get stuck by here in a minute. I'm just going to get ready. <sighs> Can I? Do we have like stunt doubles? Or? Is it really worth it? I mean, like, yeah, I mean, it's gonna get a lot of views, but my arm is probably gonna fall off. Like, that's a big side effect. I don't, I mean, I got... come on, got it. I gotta do it for the YouTube. So the biggest an American baby killer can get is actually two foot in length. But we have a, actually a baby. This one looks like it just recently hatched as it's about four or five inches long. And so this is actually, I don't know if this is gonna affect the bite at all, but we're gonna see, but there has been no stings on record by a baby. We're gonna see how this affects me. Um, I also do have the healing Scooby Snacks. The, they're like the new edition of a 
EpiPen. So just in case I go into anaphylactic shock, I eat me a Scooby snack and I'm all fine. Okay, koala bears, we're here. We're gonna grab, gently grab. I wanna have it in a controlled environment. We wanna very, very much be in control of this situation. Okay, it's calm, it's calm. It is out of the out of the thing. I'm gonna move, move this over here. I'm gonna try my best to catch the animal because we don't wanna hurt the animal at all. Because these are very misunderstood animals that we wanna preserve them. They're actually endangered. So we wanna make sure that they're okay. So, all right. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm about to enter the bite zone with the American baby killer. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that was a close one. It almost escaped, but I managed to catch it and I didn't get bit yet, so we're gonna go for take number two. Okay. Hi, I'm Dookie Eater, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the American baby killer. Make contact, make contact. It doesn't want to sting me, it doesn't want to sting me. How's the pain? It's, it's like my body's being ripped into shreds. Oh, I hate koala bears, so um, Duke Eater has actually been laying out for like past 20 minutes. He's just been laying there. there. Uh, I don't know what I should do, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think he's going to survive. Uh, I should probably go check on him. Yeah! Gotta... Give me the break, Get it! Come on! Uh. Describe the pain. It's the wrong arm. Wrong arm. I see, I see the light. Hey, koala bears, once again, um, Duke Eater is just, I guess he's taking a nap or something. He's just laying there again. Uh, you know, as y'all can see, he's just laying there. Once again, y'all let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't know what I should do, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I'm, this never happened before. Oh, he got up, he got up. No wonder you're endangered! I'm out of the Oh, yeah! Oh, it's coming Grab the thing, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. You good, right? It's like jamming your toe all over your body. I think I'm good. Oh. Hey, Duke Eater. Duke Eater. I think you're dead or something. Are you dead? Did you die? Uh, well, if you commented he was going to die, well, then you'd. You won, I guess. He did. Oh! Do we beat the record? No, it was 10 minutes and one second. Hey, man. Hey, man. Take it easy, man. Come on. I'm cool. I'm cool. All right. All right. I'm cool. Just making sure. You know? Hey. Let's go to Yeah! Hey! Well, that was some adventure. It just really goes to show how truly amazing this species is. But unfortunately, for unknown reasons, the animal did pass away after the fact. We will send her back to be with her family. Fly high, American baby killer. When I see you again. Be brave, stay wild, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Now. Hey, my peeps, thanks for watching. You already know. Hey, by the way, I should go check out my new channel at Angel Reels. Right, man? Check out my new channel, Matter Reacts, and of course, check his channel out too. Links are check in the description, both of them, and we'll put them in the comments too. I do reaction, he does vlogs. Um, all the glory to God, and we'll 
Catch you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Dave, it's so inspirational.